All right, uh, Spice Pumpkin Spice. Who used to be called Cocoa Puffs. All right. Call himself a killer now. Whatever, whatever. Um, the thing is, uh, he's bringing up a group called Heart Progress or something like that. And a character named Molesting Milton. All right. Now, all I can do is make people aware of what he's saying to me. Obviously, keeping it secret ain't doing anything to prohibit him from doing this, right? So all I can think of is to point out the pages to my viewers, whether they go to the channel or not, right? And again, make note of what he's telling me on my page. Now, when someone wants you to do something real bad, do the opposite. You know what I mean? And you don't know who the hell they are, they're using then ambiguous name like Cocoa Puffs or you know Pumpkin Spice Killer right. don't listen to what they want you to do that seems like a trap to anyone I know regardless of whether you're paranoid schizophrenic or not right don't trust people who you don't know who want you to do things you don't normally do and are telling you it's a kiddie porn site anyway I know that's entrapment right but that entrapment might work in America, right? You're not supposed to be curious to want to see children naked, period, right? Now, that wouldn't be why I would go, because um, the reason I would go is to see if it's a real kiddie porn site so I can bust his ass, right? But then I have to first what, tell people what he's doing, right? I'm giving him what's called a space of repentance. So anyway, that's what I'm doing now, right? To see if he'll stop referring me to that site, right? Like I'm ever going to go to it while he's referring it to me, right? If I do, I'm going to post a video explaining why now that he keeps insisting I go, once I tell you what he's telling me on my title um, video, then I'll go, right? But not today, maybe three days from now. I'm not worried about this. You have a nice day, Cocoa Puffs. Pumpkin Spice Killer.